Hi, I'm Kev from 24-7 Blinds, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at everything you need to know to fit your brand new roller blinds. Now that you've received your roller blinds, it's time for the fun part. 24-7 Blinds include all of the mounting brackets and safety devices with every blind they sell. It will be up to you to provide screws and raw plugs that are suitable for the surface you're attaching your blind to. Okay, so once we've unpacked everything, then we're gonna be ready for the installation. But before we can start, there are gonna be a few tools that you'll need to have available. To fit for your roller blind, you're going to need a drill with an appropriate drill bit, a metal tape measure, a Phillips or cross head screwdriver, and a pencil. And as usual, in this video, we'll be referring to all measurements in centimeters. Okay, so taking a look at the blind itself, you'll notice that on one end, there's a spring-loaded cap, and on the other end, there's the main control unit with the control cord attached. Now, these are pre-fitted as per your order, so it should be pretty self-explanatory which way round the blind should go. But you should also note that the fabric roll itself will always sit on the front of the blind. This will ensure that when the blind is down, it will be sitting as close to the window as possible. Okay, so the next step is to mount the wall brackets that will hold the blinds in place. And you'll notice that one of the brackets looks like this, and that's for the idle end of the blind. And the other bracket looks like this, and that's for the control end of the blind. Now these can be either mounted face fix, which is great if you're gonna be mounting the blind outside the recess or screwing directly into a wooden window frame, or they can be mounted as we're gonna to do today inside the recess using a top fix. Now when you're deciding where to seat the brackets within the recess, it's important to consider any potential obstacles, things like window handles or locks. As you can see in this case, this handle is sitting about three centimeters forwards from the back of the window frame itself. So when I come to mount the brackets, I want to put them approximately four centimeters forwards. This will give me a good clean drop every time the blind is used. Okay, so it's time to install the first bracket. And don't forget, we've got to mount these then four centimeters from the back of the recess and offer up the bracket top fix. We'll take the pencil and make two drill marks in the wall above. We then need to repeat this process on the other side before we start the drilling. So we're all set. I've got my cordless drill all charged up and ready to go, and I've got a suitable masonry drill bit attached for this wall that I'm gonna drill into. The other thing to consider is a pair of safety specs. I wear these just to keep the plaster dust out of my eyes, but if you don't have any, then be careful. Okay, so now that we have our holes drilled, the next thing we need to think about are pushing our wall plugs in. Make sure that you seat these flush all the way into the wall. Next, we offer up the bracket. Remember to get the right bracket for the right side. And screw this into place. And then it's the same on the other side. Okay, so with our brackets now firmly in place, it's time to fit the blind. And don't forget with this, it has two ends. You've got the idle end and the control end, and it's the idle end that we clip into place first. Great, so with that in place, we're almost there. And the final thing to do is to now install the child safety device. And this is really important. Apart from the fact the cord itself looks a little bit untidy, just flapping in the window recess there, it's also quite dangerous for small children and pets. So make sure you install this correctly. So let's extend out the control chain to its maximum extension and seat the safety device towards the wall. Mark off the holes with our pencil and we're ready to drill the final two holes. We simply finish this off with the final two screws 
and then check the cord fits comfortably between the control unit and the safety device, with no chance of it coming free. So there you go, we now have our beautiful roller blind fixed in place. And don't forget, it's going to be very inexpensive and simple to swap this one for a different colour or style to add a bit of variety to the room at different times of year. And remember, we're always creating new styles, blinds and window options. So don't forget to subscribe today so you don't miss out.